For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, check out MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. Previously, we talked about how physical and chemical properties of elements are based on their electron configurations. In this video series, we're going to talk about how we can use the periodic table to note trends in particular properties. And we're going to note these trends up and down and across the periodic table. And this is really, really useful. So which properties will we actually talk about? We're going to talk about atomic size, which is basically atomic radius. We're going to talk about ionization energy which is often abbreviated IE. We're going to talk about electron affinity, which is often abbreviated EA. We'll also talk about ionic size or ionic radius. And we'll talk about electronegativity, which is often abbreviated EN. You'll notice next to electronegativity, I have a little asterisk there. And the reason why is that electronegativity is not a property of a standalone or single or solo atom. Instead, it's a property of a bonded atom. And that's a distinction we'll get into later. One thing I really want you to take home from this, though, is that we're talking about trends in these properties. And when we say trends, we're, we're sort of implying that there are certain exceptions to these trends. Just to give you an idea of kind of what I'm talking about, think about a business. A business's goal is to profit. And so I've got this graph here of profit over time. Let's imagine that each of these little points here is a month, you know, a, a, and, and then the, the corresponding point on the y-axis would be the profit that month. So if someone asked you what the trend was as far as profit over time, you would probably say that, that the profit is increasing as time goes on, right? Profit increases with time, right? Because generally speaking, this, this is sort of almost like a line going up like this. But you'll note that there are certain exceptions, right? For instance, this point right here, right, to, to this point right here, it increased, right? Profit increased there. And then it increased again, and then increased again. But then here, it's kind of like from that point to that point, it's pretty much a straight line. And then we go up again. And then we come down right here, that point right there, I'll actually change the color that I circled that with, right? There, in that month, profit dropped, right? And over here, we'll notice that profit dropped as well. But overall, the overall trend is that profit increased over time. So what I'm trying to say is that when, as you watch this video series, keep in mind that everything that we talk about with these properties is a trend and there are exceptions. Anyway, I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.